Dark Moon is about to fucking kill you. Sit, boo boo, sit. Freaking hurt. Issa was quick. You got there, buddy. Is that what I think it is? <laughs> it is. And I thought this blew up in the plane. Today's my lucky day. Huh. Scotty, get me the hell out of this cold, freezing wasteland, please. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody! Pedro, St. Patrick's Day, show a little holiday spirit. I happen to be half Irish, right? I want to show you something, Pedro. Check this out. Happy St. Patrick's Day, Pedro. Does anything excite you, Pedro? Stiff as a board as usual. See, it's about as lively around here as usual, Pedro. Let me tell you something, Pedro. You know what's even more special about today besides the fact that it's St. Patrick's Day? I know, that happens every year. But you know what else happens every year on St. Patrick's Day? Kurt Russell's birthday, everybody! And guess what I'm gonna do? Another unboxing video. Show you how much I appreciate Kurt Russell. Yeah, this thing is a great movie, but it's not my favorite Kurt Russell character, that's for sure. You know what my favorite Kurt Russell character is of all time? I've had this for years, folks. See that, Pedro? You are so jealous, Pedro, that you don't have your very own Snake Plissken action figure. Check that out. If you are a Kurt Russell fan, which you clearly are not, Pedro, this is Snake Plissken, one of the greatest, of the greatest movies ever made, Escape from New York. This was made for Escape from L.A., but he's wearing his Escape from New York outfit, which he was wearing at the beginning of the movie, but he also comes with the leather jacket from Escape from L.A., and his little machine gun that they gave him from Escape from L.A. from Stacey Keach. However, I do have this little cheaper made toy. Yeah, right? He is wearing the brown leather jacket from Escape from New York. Just to show you all how much I love Kurt Russell. And again, this is my favorite Kurt Russell movie. Escape from New York. Escape from LA too. I don't care what to say about that one. I think it was just as fun. But now we're going to move on to this, Pedro. So here we go. That's right. Kurt Russell turns 72 today, I believe. Look at that. Did that not look just like him as he did in the movie, folks? I love these new action figures. The detail. Nope, I ain't keeping it in the box, obviously. That's why it's called unboxing, not keep it in the box. One thing I like about these toys is they give you tons of hands. Look at all them hands. And an extra head. I love the extra head. Thing. Look at that. If you've seen the movie, there was a scene where he was dressed like this. But he's hiding his beautiful hair though, so I'm going to keep it with the regular hair. Fire. His flamethrower. See that shit? Flamethrower, folks. Remember this part of the movie, folks? This is Dynamite. That is what he was using to keep everybody away from him when they thought he was the thing. Stay back where I'll blow everybody up. That is the Petri dish of blood. And this is a little thing that he would get cut and test to see if he was the thing or not. Anyway, when it did happen, if you were the thing, this is what would happen. That's what would happen. I would touch it and it would try to save itself. Fight back. Ah, like he did in the movie. Pickaxe. There we go. The pickaxe. I don't remember that as much, but it was in the movie, I guess. But I do remember he had a handgun. Remember when he killed, you know, when he killed that guy from My Girl 2. Richard Masor? That, I don't know. That was the gun that killed him. Give the man five hands plus the ones he already has. There we go, a bunch of hands again. And finally, it's all wired all in here. Kurt Russell has McCready. Is that what it is, McCready? McCready, McCready. Right here, so everybody can see what McCready looks like. 
That's right. McCready. Not McCaffrey. That was Backdraft. I think. A lot of Kurt Russell movies I've seen. Now, put some of this stuff on real quick. Where the hell did that Petri dish go? Pedro, I lost the Petri dish. So there you have it, folks. Finally. Done. McCready from John Carpenter's The Thing. What did you think of that, Pedro? You boring bastard. Can I please get something to eat, man? I got no money today, so just please have some mercy on me. You got anything to eat? You got the money to pay, I give you a plate of beef. You just don't listen to me, Pedro. Well, I guess that's it. Island boxed Kurt Russell on his birthday. Happy birthday, Kurt Russell. I know you're probably not watching this, but if you randomly happen to, I do appreciate your work. I'll even watch a movie with you in it just because you're in it. You're, you're an entertaining actor. Oh shit, I knocked you over too. Here we go. These are currently all my Kurt Russell action figures. I would like a Big Trouble Little China one, but I don't have that yet. Well, that'll be it for now. This has been Farmer Spaghetti doing an unboxing video again. I, what is this, my third one, Pedro? I'm losing track here. Anyway, I have fun doing this because I love toys. That's right. Fully grown man who loves his toys. So I don't care. I'm very comfortable with that. Oh yeah, one more thing I have about Kurt Russell is this Kurt Russell card. You can see that? Yeah, that little square there is supposedly a piece of something he wore in the movie. I like to think it was his brown leather jacket from Escape from New York because it's it is brown and leathery looking, but that's it. The Kerr Russell collection. I have it. Hope you've enjoyed my unboxing video, everybody. I'm going to go waste it now because it's St. Patrick's Day. And that's what you're supposed to do, especially if you have half, especially if you have half Irish in you, like I do. So, got to go get wasted. It's the rules. It's the rules of my countrymen. Pedro, pour me a drink. I do have some money for that. You bean hoarding bastard. <laughs>